Hello Legion, this is Hadrian. Thank you for being here. Let's play some more Stellaris Apocalypse in our Final Federation series. Let's start off this episode with uh, some quick comment response, shall we? There's some good feedback on the previous episode that I want to go ahead and implement. We have a few things to talk about uh, based on suggestions received, and then I will jump back in with uh, fighting some pirates. We've got some uh, ships on the way to Hadronis, and hopefully a construction ship that's going to survive. We'll see how that goes. But um, in the last episode, or uh, actually for a few episodes now, people have been telling me, hey, uh, you you can federate with the Hofer Coalition, but your war policy is uh, set to the wrong thing. And I talked about this in the last episode, but I overlooked something important that was then pointed out in the last episode, um, which is that the reasons they are not interested in the Federation have changed. Notice that distance is no longer a factor. If somebody pointed out that I haven't looked at this yet. I have actually looked at it, not to correct you, but I have looked at it. It's just the last time I looked at it, distance was more a factor, and either I didn't notice War Philosophy, or War, war Philosophy wasn't on the list. Just to show you what I mean by distance, that's what I was talking about. There, distance minus 32. But notice they also have the same negative modifier, a War Philosophy that forbids wars of aggression. So people are saying, Hadrian, just change your War Policy and everything will be okay. Well, that's actually not as simple as you might think. They want us to have unrestricted wars. They want us to to not be restricted against that type of warfare, wars of aggression. Unfortunately, we are a pacifist empire, so that's going to be difficult, federating with them. Also, people have been pointing out that I need to open my borders to the free Convasam uh, Commissariat, which I will do. And then these guys um, also have that same negative modifier, unfortunately. Really sucks. So... I can do a trade deal with them. Maybe a research agreement would be in there. I, I don't think we have a research agreement with them right now. Oh, no, we do. We actually have one set up. So who do I not have a research agreement with? Let's let's try that approach. Uh, there's a research agreement with the Lock and Mechanists, the Cope and Jaxi Trade Union. I do not have a research agreement with them. So let's see about that. Interestingly, looks like they might... Ooh, they actually have a good number of physics technologies that I don't have. So let's pay them a little bit for this, and that should make things a little better. All right, let's make this a little bit lopsided, but not too much, because we're going to have an energy deficit very soon. So we're going to confirm that, send that offer along, and that might make some of our, our factions happy as well. But, um, yeah, not looking too good because of our pacifist ethics. Let's form a non-aggression pact with the League of Polyria. And we're going to get a few diplomatic responses. Yeah, so far, we have pretty good relationships with a lot of empires. But I have to say... Yeah. These are more distant, of course. They're across the galaxy from me. But of course, we have the XT-49 Eliminators to worry about. Let's check the old tour committee. We haven't talked to them too much, have we? They're Federation builders, and um, we could really do a lot with them. They have a neutral attitude towards us, um, and there's a little bit of distance, but it really seems like they might, if we can get a better deal going with them, like maybe a trade deal or a research agreement, they might be more down for this. Um, looks like not right now, but let's... Um, information. They're Federation builders, so we can trade an active sensor link with them. And what else? What are their ethics? They're also materialist? I mean... Nothing really wrong with having an active sensor link with them. Let's, yeah, let's, you know what, let's, let's work towards making them happier. So let's go for information. We're going to trade an active sensor link with them. They're still not completely interested in that. So what if we trade communications as well? And then maybe a little bit more energy. And maybe a little bit of minerals. Okay, let's confirm that and see what they say to that. Maybe that will improve their opinion of us a little bit. So there's that. Also, people, what are some other comments that people have been um, making? What are some things I wanted to respond to? We've got ships headed out this way. We need to take care of those pirates. Uh, people have been saying that they, we need to get the second fleet built up a little bit more. I think maybe one person brought that up, and I certainly will. I just want to get the first fleet, uh, maybe have the first battleships there, and then um, we don't have... Our command cap's not going to be higher for a while, so I definitely will start thinking about having a second um, fleet as well. And I mentioned that in the last episode, but I would like to raise our naval capacity first, which involves building some anchorages, which I will do, for sure. Uh, but we're not going to build them on the Sol Station, as discussed. 
we could potentially build them on another station that's going up. Um, the Sirius station, probably not. Actually, the Sirius station might be a good place to put them now. Because the Sirius station is not as important of a defensive station as it was before. As a matter of fact, I can dismantle some of its defenses, I think. Because the exterminators are not as likely to come flying in and attack that system outright. So with those things dismantled, I don't have the option just yet, unfortunately, of... There we go. Can I only do two anchorages? Is that why? Oh, I'm out of minerals. That's That actually makes even more sense. So I'll build those when I get the chance. Let's go back up to speed three and let things progress for a bit. What do we got? Okay, so research agreement with those guys. Um, and we've got a trade deal uh, giving us active sensor link with the Ultur committee. And we may soon be able to build up our construction ship is a little bit of fire. a better relationship with them. Okay, moment of truth. Let's see how these guys do. We have lost a construction ah, ship. Ah, I was worried about that. I didn't quite get away from a the pirates. World of opportunities awaits. All right, so the Zufine progenitors, these enigmatic observers, have opened their borders to us. Um, and they are where? They're over here. That's good. So we probably just met them for the first time. Construction completed. <clears throat> good. So the Free Conversam Commissariat has opened their borders to us as well. Ah, oh, this uh, this track. I just want to shut up and listen to it every time. All right, Lidelicon still does need to be pretty powerful as far as far as its defenses, but not as much as Hiram and um, Cytine. So this is another place where we can dismantle some defenses. Let's um, yeah, let's get rid of both, and we're going to add some anchorages Ship when we have the applied. money. Let's go ahead and get those now, and we'll add more soon. And there's also an additional building we can add on that, impre that increases the effectiveness of the anchorages. So this will help us balance out our naval capacity situation and get us a little bit more income in the process. Now the first fleet should be on their way. Yep, there they go. They're on the way to take out the pirates and their station. The Let me make sure that all of my ships currently have the best level hyperdrive. They should, as long as the power levels are appropriate. I shouldn't have to do any upgrades here. Again, as long as you have an excess of power... I guess this Corvette is the one that I would worry about more. But it seems like we're okay. Yep, we are indeed okay. And you have afterburners. What do you, what do you have? Actually, I want you to have afterburners now. Now that I can change that back. The Nighthawk Corvette and then these guys also have afterburners. So we have afterburners on all of our ships. It's kind of crazy. Really fast ships as a result of our designs. We don't quite have uh, battleships just yet, but we will soon. And we need to start building some defense platforms before long as well. Once we see if we can lock down Hodronus. System survey concluded. Oh, also, let me very quickly. We're going to add to. I'm checking rules on the Betria sector. Yep, that's all good. We're going to add some additional systems, specifically those, to the Betria sector. And then I believe we have a colony ship on the way to Tharam. And we're colonizing Cormagian, which I want to be a core world eventually. Hopefully we'll have some core Construction complete. research technology available to us before long. All right, so where... All right, here's our fleet, first fleet. System you can see a little bit more computed. easily which ships are which by looking at those icons. I really love those additions. Ooh, interesting. I knew this was coming. Greetings, humans. We understand your empire has come into possession of a cache of data containing the brain scans of an extinct species taken from the very world they once inhabited. Even though your species is still too primitive to utilize this data, we loud your efforts in preserving this last remnant of a once vibrant civilization. As part of our efforts to conserve and catalog endangered species in our endangered species preserve, we wish to take this data and use our cloning technologies to bring a small number of this species back to life. Will you share it with us so we can fulfill their last wish together? We will make a copy with you and they might give us some preferential treatments in the future. Colonized. Okay, so that's Terezed, which has now been added. So let's very quickly take a look at Terezed. That's an interesting colony name. Oh, they're building fortresses. A couple of them. Automatically. Okay, this is a human colony. So a little bit different from the previous. However, I want to make sure that we have our Unity buildings going live as soon as possible. So let's work on that. I'm going to cancel that too. All right, there we go. Oh, they're automatically moving my people around, but that's fine. As long as those completed. two buildings go up first, then do what you want, and I guess I'll build you a farm regardless because you'd insist. Dude! A new world of opportunities that is not even a little bit what you need to be doing. 
All right, so is that Cormagian that started its colonization or somewhere else? That's right. All right, so the, the new Trappist, there needs to be a Trappist Tertius, basically, and it's you. We could always change them to Roman numerals as well. But this is not Roma Galactica, is it? So. We are being hailed. All right, so our naval capacity situation has been fixed a little bit, and we have better income. We're being hailed with what? Non-aggression pact invitation? The Multics block. Construction. Um, sure. Looks like they've been mostly conquered anyway, and that might have lowered the opinion slightly of these guys. I suppose not, though. Let's check the free Convasam Commissariat. They're still learning to like us, as is the old tour committee. How are we comparing to the XT-49 Eliminators? Yep, still equivalent. Is the key to the universe. Okay, naval capacity plus 30. That also helps a lot. Let's see what we can do here. Ooh. See, that's tempting, but we've got a few others that are just as tempting. We do need to clear this, learn how to clear this tile blocker as soon as possible. I'm going to go for Alien Zoo. Well, no. Let's do the tile blocker tech because we have a desert colony that's going to be a core world soon. Trappist Secundus is a brand new colony that I definitely need to put... some stuff on. Let's go ahead and do a gene clinic there. And it looks like we have an election coming up as well. Currently, Yuna Yamashita is our leader, and she is warlike, and she has architectural sense. Is there anyone worth really pursuing? Dan Hu is older, but she would give additional monthly influence on top of what we're already making, which would help us colonize quickly, and she'd make everybody happier. That is really tempting to support her, but it hasn't really worked for me using the influence previously, so I'm just going to let the uh, democracy do its thing takes a lot to influence the elections of a democratic society. All right, so that fleet combat just ended pretty quickly. Engaging We're going to take out the station in Hodronus. We got some uh, points for that. We're going to go back and upgrade in Saul. And then where did that construction ship go? You're going to build those mining stations. But you know what you're going to do first? They're going to build a starbase in Hodronus. Just to lock down as much territory from these guys as we can manage. Completed. And also, is there a science ship nearby? No, 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 no. Are you're both there? Okay. You're all the way over there. Good for you. And you're all the way over there. Okay, so one of you needs to come back. Let's see. You're both psychic. Let's bring you to this system. Have you just research that project really quickly. Let's see what else we can build, if anything. Okay. So I think... Alright, so this is a scientist who, it, this is our, the one that's, that was doing such a good job of exploring far away into soon-to-be friendly territory, hopefully. Okay, let me go for the archaeologist again, because we still haven't gotten all the ancient civilizations. Plume of Blue, <laughs> who is a Hyren, is one of our... Let me check the species rights on the Hyren. I haven't done that just yet. The tile blocker has been cleared. We also still need to... No, actually, no, we don't. We've, we're good. We've used their points. So let's... Have we modified all the humans? Yes, we have. Uh, let me go ahead and... Delete that template. And now that one is the only one that's left. That's good. I think the whole fear are good to go as well. Now, again, we're going to set rights for these guys. Citizenship, full citizenship, living standards, decent living standards. So we could go to social welfare, which would improve consumer goods use. We're not going to do that just yet, but that'll come in handy later in the series. Full military service, yeah, sure. Colonization rights allowed, population controls, none. Migration controls, none. So they are full citizens, as are the humans, which is quite cool. We uplifted them, and they are proving to be quite useful, I must say. Okay, so let's continue in this direction as well, because we have some new worlds that need to... Whoa, what are you doing? There you go. Build a star base. That's what I wanted you to do. And then you are done in Turim. We have a construction ship headed there already, so why don't we head out towards Finn... Because we need to lock down this territory before anyone else gets any funny ideas. And there is a world that we could potentially colonize there if we got a little frisky and expanded out into that branch of the galaxy. A new faction, the Church of Spiritual Philosophy. Oh, that sounds wonderful. So these guys are looking for more of a religious approach, I guess. Our fifth faction. 
All right, we actually have a, an additional core world now. Lock and Mechanist have declared the Andaganj Hive their completed. rival. A new world has been colonized. Good. So that is, I believe, Cormagian. So I need. Let's see, what is this doing? Influence gain is dropped as a result. Not really, though. We're still making plus five, and energy generation is also lower. But we're still okay. Do I? I, I feel like I kind of just want to weather this for a bit. And roll with it, you know, and just um, see how things go. Knowledge is the key to the universe. What we got? Tile blocker? Okay, now give me a core sector system, please. Nope, guess not. Um, let's get that tile blocker then. That's also going to be done in seven months. Gateway travel will be done in 101 months. A little bit longer. Rivalry has been mutually declared. The Hulfir, I'm guessing, are no more... They're the same level of acceptance. Let's check the old tour. Just keeping an eye on these guys as much as possible. Should hopefully be able, be able to make a non-aggression pact with them before too long. We have a decent amount of territory, I have to say. Ah, uh, the, the Holfier Coalition are starting to expand into territory that I wanted, which is kind of annoying. But at least I'll get these colonies. Construction completed. Which has been my intention from the beginning. Let's go ahead and get the mining station and research station built there. Where else do I have you? Yeah, I can move you out to the thin system, which I believe already have one construction ship headed that way, right? Nope, I don't. Any other unbuilt stations? Don't see any. Took care of most of them last episode. Yeah. Oh, Beta Hydri is completely colonizable. Didn't notice that. That's been sitting there for a while. And also we have Alpha Centauri 2A, which is a savanna world. That can be a core planet as well. So I have additional worlds to colonize right now. We're not going to do Beta Hydri just yet, I don't think, because I do want to wait for another core planet. But let's send a colonist from Sirius, actually. That's a little bit cheaper there. Good. And we're going to land you... Let's land you right there. There's enough food output on that planet already. A new world has been colonized. So the Hiram station is completed. almost done upgrading. The Clea station needs an upgrade. Let's go ahead and give that to him. And we technically need stations in these systems as well. I might hold off though. I might let the Clea system be our defensive line. Because the the there's no reason to have stations everywhere. System survey concluded. Alright, so that's done. Leader lifespan. Yeah, lots of cheaper society technologies given that we spent so long on modification projects. Let me go ahead and go for Pitharan Dust Refining. I'm just trying to get rid of some of the cheap technology so that we might have access to Chip a core applied. sector system research project before too long. Construction completed. Let's get a star base built in Finn. That's going to be a good mineral system for us. I wonder if it's that we're playing on a huge galaxy on speed 3 that's causing the chop a little bit. Maybe that's what it is. And because we're recording. I'm not used to seeing Construction the, um, the skipping around a little bit. I'll stop commenting on it, because, I mean, it's going to happen. But it's a bit of a new phenomenon. Construction completed. Yeah, let's definitely get those mining stations up. It's costing a good amount of minerals to do that, of course. The native life of Cormagian Prime is built on an epic scale far larger than anyone previously thought was possible for biological life. The question now in the minds of our researchers is, what is their secret and can we benefit from it? Proposals to study the native life in greater detail are flooding in. Ensure that the research does no harm. So we have a project that should hopefully make it a little bit more likely that we don't screw anything up here. We'll see how this goes. Who died? Our governor, Yuna Yamashita. Um. Oh. Okay, well, she wasn't governing anything. I'm confused, but might have been an older governor that got elected, perhaps. Oh, that's what it was. She was an old gov. She was our previous leader, I think. Following a long period of growing support, the union of uh, or for the union of metaphysical cleansing, the trade union is now more outwardly spiritualist. Okay, if you insist. Doing pretty well, influence-wise, I have to say. All right, so we can go ahead and colonize these worlds as well. It's just that they need to be added to a sector before long. We're getting these stations built up. The Unuk and Firum systems need to be added. 
as soon as I can manage it. That ocean world is going to be handy, as is the continental world. They're both good planets. I would like to add the Fula system. I am less optimistic about getting to it. The Ulm system has the artisan troop completed. there, so I can build an art college. System survey concluded. One thing I could do to ensure that we get the systems, like especially the Fula, the Fula's system, is I could colonize the, or not colonize, but I could get an outpost in the two system and start wor uh, working that direction, and maybe even get towards the Garia system before long. Has concluded. Nice. After a period of research and study, the scientists on Cormagian Prime, one second, uh, have have uh, managed to make a breakthrough and achieve limited communications with some of the Titans. While huge, slow, and difficult to talk to, the Titans are incredibly tough and strong. Some few have expressed a desire to join our military forces, where they will undoubtedly be an incredible ass asset. So, excellent. That's good news. That went well. That uh, event can go very, very badly. So the fact that it went well is encouraging. Let me once again go over to our naval cap, because I think I'm in a position now to start thinking about that those improvements that I was mentioning not too long ago. Ah, visitor centers are available. I have been building those everywhere. All right, so it looks like we have the uh, Cope and Jaxi helping us colonize this world. That's not too bad. Let's uh, go ahead and clear these tile blockers. Got just enough energy for it. And I think I can go ahead and build a... If I move you, I can go ahead and build a basic science lab as well. Oh, actually, you know what we need more than that, though? I don't know why I said basic science lab, because what I need is a gene clinic. Let's do that. So that planets... So that those uh, colonies grow a little bit faster. Now let's also go over here and get a Autoton monument going. You, madam, will be in charge of the growth clinic. And I'm okay with you working that tile, that's fine. We can make that an energy tile. The rest around the colony ship can be um, mineral tiles. So yeah, we have a lot of colonies going up relatively quickly. Also, looks looks like we can now colonize some of these planets a bit more effectively with our new empire species, which we have access to. That's fantastic to see. So we have completed the research of battleships and um, Ilse Sauer has passed away. So let's see. We are currently researching with her a biology, or we were researching with her a biology tech. So why don't we see who else we can recruit? Oh, perfect. Uh, we just need a little bit of energy. Let's see who we can trade with. We'll talk to the Hofir Coalition. And uh, let's offer a trade deal. Uh, from them, I would like an instant transfer of 200 energy credits. And I will give them a little bit of a lopsided deal to earn their favor slightly. Let's go all the way up to a thousand. Why not? Confirm. All right. So how much did that help their opinion of us? And does it change their desire? It did slightly change their desire to be a part of the Federation. So we could suck up to them for a really long time once we have a better income and we can get them that way, despite the difference in philosophy that exists between us. So that's a distinct possibility. All right. Let's recruit uh, Liang Wan. He is now a researcher for Pitharan Dust. And then Parivarma. Ooh, cruiser hull points, starbase upgrade cost, upgrade speed. Both of those are tempting. I think I might... Let me go for the base, basic strike craft, because that's going to take next to no time at all. And it also seems like... Yeah, we have so much colonizing to do now. Holy crap. I mean, all of these are green worlds now. It's nuts. Thanks to our new empire species that are migrating in from other empires. Systems so we're not a federation yet, but we are a multi-species republic led by humans, which is pretty cool still. This galaxy presents enough threats without having to worry about a war between the Uni Unified Solar Republic and the Galactic Plismus Empire. Okay, so non-aggression pact it is. And we have room for a new tradition. Let's see what we have. We've already started on prosperity, Research so we can... Concluded. Energy output increased by 5%. Yep, trading hubs produce an additional one energy. Let's do that. Much better. And then we can go for this to get additional unity from our energy grid and energy nexus buildings, which we don't have too many of yet, but we will soon. Do we have Pitharan dust? Yes, we do. So now we have additional food from that. We only have one, but that's... Hey, it's a start. We're going to keep going for the cheap research options here. Thankfully, uh, Liang Wan is still going to be researching pretty quickly. Also, we have room for 
another expansion here. Let's go ahead and add the two system. And that's actually the second two system. Or no, that's Tem. Never mind. I stand corrected. They do have different names. Um, did I not have a construction ship headed this direction for Hodronis? I guess not. Let's get that taken care of. And then that science ship's going to go back and leave that territory before long. System survey concluded. All right, Hiram Starbase definitely needs some additional, some some defense modules now. Let's go ahead and do that. We'll, we'll do two of these. And then we'll do that to the Cytene station as soon as I have the resources for it. So I suppose what I'll do with a remainder, I could do anchorages. That would be one way to uh, up our naval capacity even more. Because I do need to expand on our fleet capacity for sure. Let's go ahead and add the anchorages. Yeah. Alright, and again, we don't have a lot of extra resources at this point. So I'll hold off on doing anything more until we do have more. We are being hailed. What do we have? The Brigan Serene Commonality wants a non-aggression pack. So everyone's liking me a little bit more lately. Which is good to see. Let's see if this, if this has improved our standing. No, not really. They, they don't feel any differently about us. Check on these guys. The Free Conversam Commissariat. Uh, their acceptance of uh, Federation is getting better. But still not that good. All right, the Ultra Committee is not really changing in their estimation of us. Sadly. It does make me sad. Research concluded. All right, so there's our hangar bays. Mining Network 3 is the most tempting of my options, I think. Let me go ahead and add that. And also, we are about 26 minutes into this episode, so I think, let me very quickly jump back down to the, the uh, Lodelicon system, and I can add some hangar bays here. There's already some anchorages. So a couple of hangar bays, so there's fighters, would be quite nice. The Brink Station, I absolutely want to add hangar bays to, because that needs to be as well fortified as possible. We haven't built the other uh, stations just yet, or the defense platforms just yet, but we'll get to that. Sirius already has its anchorages, so let's go ahead and get... I could do trading hubs here. Or I could do... Honestly, I could do a trading hub and a shipyard. You know what? Let's do that. Let's do a shipyard and a trading hub in Sirius. And then the Sol station... I could add an anchorage here, or we could add another trading hub. This is the Sol Station. Let's um, let's add another trading hub. It's our core territory. And then Cormagian definitely needs some additional buildings, and those are still being cleared. All right, all right, we are good to go there. We're out of minerals, and I can't do anything else. And we are 27 minutes in, 28 almost. So I'll stop this one here. And the next one, we are going to keep adding systems. Hopefully, get the Fulas and Garia systems. But it looks like we've got some competition from the Holfir Coalition. Uh, what I'll be curious to see is if getting closer to them still manages to improve our opinion of them even more, or if it actually reduces it because of border friction. That'll be interesting. Um, I would like not to have to worry about them from that perspective. But uh, let's also take a quick look at these guys. Naval capacity is now completely equivalent, so we are now on even better footing with the XT-49 Eliminators than we were before. Good news. And thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this one, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to follow along. New episodes are coming out every day at 4 p.m. Eastern Time. Comments are always welcome. Let me know what you think, and I will see you next time.